hey you guys what's up it's your girl Cree. welcome to another video in fact this will be the last video of 2023 on today's video i'm going to give you a review of the best of 2023 now in this video it's going to be a little different i'm going to give you a little bit of fragrance as well as a little bit of body care and we're going to end off with a little bit of candles so if that sounds like something that you guys would be interested in seeing then definitely continue now to before watch. we get started i would appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fam and definitely give me a big thumbs up if you guys find that you do enjoy the content we're going to get into it Let's go. All right, you guys. So first things first, we're going to start off with our sweet spot. We're going to start with our fragrances. So, so first thing I'm going to get into is body oil. So here on this channel, I have featured, at least in the beginning, I featured a few videos of body oils. That is where I started at with fragrance. So I'm going to start with those. There are about five fragrance oils, perfume oils that is, that I bought this year that really stood out to me. And for me, these were the top. These are the ones that I used and repurchased over and over again. And so I'm gonna put you guys on to what those are. One in no particular order, I'm just gonna pull them out and describe them as I go. So this first one is gonna be Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So, sorry y'all, it's a little beat up because I do use my fragrance oil, so. They have been in a container with other ones for Lost Cherry. It has you on it for unisex. This came from Wholesale Body Oils. I believe I purchased this for about one to two dollars each. I think it was a dollar sixty nine to be exact. But I felt this was pretty daggone close. And I like to layer this with my Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe. So that is the first fragrance oil. And the next one is Country Apple. And this also came from Wholesale Body Oils. Again, this was $1.69. And this is duping the Country Apple Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. Mm, this is one of my favorites, you guys. I like that better than I like the actual spray or lotion. It just really helps that scent to project. So if you really like that, I highly recommend that body oil. And then the last one that I have from Wholesale Body Oils, this is the one that has gotten the most buzz that I swear by. This is Love Don't Be Shy that is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. I also got this from Wholesale Body Oils. And this is just one of the many that I got in the one ounce. I also have the Country Apple in a one ounce as well. All my favorites are in a one ounce. And so, yeah, you guys, this is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I highly recommend this one. This smells really, really close, and I personally enjoy it better than the spray. And I think I paid about five or six bucks for this. That is it for the wholesale body oil. Oils that absolutely stood out that I could not keep my hands off of this year. So next that we're going to get over to fragrant body oils. There were two specifically that I got from them that I absolutely love and swear by. This first one is going to be Oriana. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, you can't really see it, but it does say Oriana on there. It's kind of fading because the oil has dripped down on the side. So I apologize, but you do know that it is used because you can see it. This is a one ounce. I believe I paid $24.99 for this one um, is what they cost for fragrant body oils they tend to be a little more expensive however for this quality and for what i'm getting i don't mind paying the price this is spot on to what i feel like oriana smells like and it smells exactly like the dupe that i have so i swear by this i will continue to purchase it so that is one of my tops definitely probably the top right up there with love don't be shy is at the top for the body oils and then the last one is Charosa 40 which I also have this in a one ounce you guys this also comes from fragrant body oils and you guys I am not sponsored by any of those these were all purchased with my own money my opinions are 100% my own it retails for $12.99 I think that's what their fragrance oils pretty much retail for and it is spot on to Charosa 40 so if you're looking for a way to project that scent that is a good way. All of those I use to layer with my perfumes and my fragrance mist. So that is it for the body oils. 
Now we're gonna move on into the body mist. You guys, if you already have followed my channel, then you know I love me a good body mist, just as much as I love me perfumes. I am not gonna get too deep into that because I have a whole dedicated review of the best body mist of 2023, but I'm gonna bring you guys my top, I believe I have six. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring you the top six, maybe seven body mists that I have that I absolutely fell in love with this year and I can't keep my hands off of them. This was well, it really wasn't hard to choose because I know what I've been using. So if you follow me on my channel, you will see that I have talked about these over and over and over again. So this was not a hard decision. So <laughs> with no further ado, let's get into those. First up, this is not from Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret. This one is going to come from Sol de Janeiro. This is Brazilian Crush Charosa 40. This is a body mist that comes from Sol de Janeiro. You can purchase this at Sephora or Sol de Janeiro, the actual website. I actually purchased this one from Sephora. As you can see, I also have the body oil because I absolutely adore this scent. I decided to pick fragrance mist that I have went through this year. So if I've already went through it and I've had to repurchase, then I know I absolutely love this scent and this is one of those. I just repurchased this because I went through this earlier in the year and then I also went through a 90 mil. So believe me when I tell you I love this scent. <laughs> this is your Amber Plum Vanilla. It's very sultry. It's woody in the base. Actually, it has the notes on here. I'll give them to you. It's Black Amber Plum, Creme de Cassis, Jasmine Blooms, Brazilian Orchid, Vanilla Woods, and Warm Musk. You guys, it is such a sultry, a sultry, sexy, sweet, slightly fruity floral scent with a woody base. I absolutely love this. It's so sexy and seductive and soft. It's such a feminine scent, uber feminine, and it's just so pretty. And I'm always trying to find ways to layer it and to bring it out more because at the end of the day, it is a body mist and it does perform as such. So that's why I have the body oils that absolutely help it project. And so, yes, y'all, this had to be in my top body mist of 2023, Charosa 40. Next up, you guys, I absolutely could not have this list without featuring this particular body mist. This is Fairy Tale. <laughs> this is by Bath and Body Works, you guys. This was a scent that was discontinued and they recently brought it back in new packaging. This is the old packaging. I also have the new packaging as well, but I prefer this. So that is what I put on display for today. The fragrance notes are pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. You guys, this is a scent that is very reminiscent to and compared to YSL Libre. This is absolutely reminiscent of that scent. I'm not going to say it is a dupe, but if you like that, they are in the same family. Um, I absolutely love this scent. For a body mist, it projects very well. It lasts on the clothes and on the skin for some time. Definitely more than your average body mist. Definitely acts like a perfume. And even if you don't like YSL Libre and it's a little too much for you, this could technically work for you. I believe you may like this and not like that. Um, but for me, you guys, I wanted to show you, I actually went through this body mist and I bought this this year y'all don't know how hard this is to do if you don't have body mist then you may not know it's hard to go through body mist especially when you have a big collection you guys when i tell you i love this scent when i tell you if you pick one you go for this <laughs> when i tell you please if you're not into bath and body works and you're just going off of my video go and pick this up give it a try go smell it it's somebody in your cell right now go give it a try if you like it, grab it and get you some backups, girl, because there's no telling if it's going to come back. This has literally been my scent of the year. So I highly recommend that fairy tale. Definitely in my top 10. One of the best body mists of 2020. You're the one. This is also by Bath & Body Works. This has the fragrance notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. You guys, this is a beautiful feminine rose scent. <sighs> It is so sweet, so intoxicating. 
it definitely gives a perfumey vibe it's so feminine you guys it's not one that i have worn very much of but that's because this gives an occasion like fairy tale does as well but i don't care i wear fairy tale no matter what i wear fairy tale to the park and just be the most extra girl in the park but this this for me requires an occasion and I just don't have too many of those occasions. For those of you who know, I am a new mom, so I don't really get out as much. But you guys, I can't wait to pull for this. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a beautiful scent. And it definitely, I had to put this in this category. Definitely one of the best of 2023. Just to be clear, none of these, I don't believe, came out this year as far as for the first time. Some have been discontinued and brought back, but all of these are available today, like at this time. So I didn't want to bring you any that weren't available, and I didn't want to bring you any that didn't reemerge this year. So all of these are available now. You're the one fairy tale. All of those you can get at Bath and Body Works or Sephora Sol de Janeiro site. Next up, I have strawberry snowflakes. <laughs> now, for those of you who are not into Bath and Body Works, you may be looking at this like it looks childish. Baby, when I tell you this might sneak up on you, this has the fragrance notes of Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream and Iced Bergamot. Guys, I'm not even a fan of strawberry like that. When I tell you this is the most beautiful scent, the girls will tell you. If you guys are fans of Strawberry Her, if you like Daisy Love, Ooh So Sweet, if you like fragrances like Ralph Lauren, Beyond Romance, even Oriana, you guys even yara even yara the arabian fragrance this would pair so beautifully with any of those beautiful soft feminine scents this is just a beautiful iced strawberry scent with creamy notes to it it's just so soft and pretty and it's perfect for this time of season but honestly i will wear it year round y'all get your nose on this I'm already sold. This is definitely one of the best of 2023. At least the last fragrance mist that I have from Bath & Body Works is Dahlia. Now you guys, this was also repackaged and re-released this year. This was a previously discontinued scent along with Fairy Tale. This scent has the notes of Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. Again, this is one of those scents that you can find on sale right now during the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works. So I highly recommend that you get your hands on it or at least get your nose on it to see if it's something you vibe with. You guys, I absolutely highly recommend this. This is top on my list of the best body mists of 2023. You guys, this smells so sweet and pretty this is such a feminine scent if you like to smell just pretty just pretty that's what this is literally it's nothing you can really put your finger on it's just a really pretty scent a lot of people like to say that this is similar to carolina herrera's good girl which is the heel and you may find that it is but Outside of that, I'm telling you, this scent is one to get your nose on. It is just a beautiful, sweet floral. Very light, kind of airy. It's creamy. It's a little woody in the base, you guys. Just get your nose on it. I'm almost done with this bottle as well. I kid you not, the proof is in the pudding. Just go get your nose on it. But for me, I'm sold. This is a for lifer, definitely one of the best of 2023 you guys i have two more and we're going to quickly go through those those will be from victoria's secret so this first one is going to be vanilla amber bourbon i recently got this from victoria's secret they are also having their semi-annual sale right now so this is a good time to get your hands on it this has notes of vanilla amber stirs into smooth bourbon and orchid an indulgent spirit you guys i just get a really nice vanilla and amber caramelly type of scent kind of hard to put my finger on but i just feel like it would be perfect for layering and i just think it's really smooth and really sophisticated if you guys happen to be in the store or in the mall and you go past go give this a sniff 
And then last but not least, on my channel, I happen to be a freshie lover, even though I do like these florals. Um, I wanted to bring this to you guys because I have to have at least one. This is one that I haven't been pulling for as a recent, but I got good use out of earlier in the summer and spring. So this is Aqua Kiss. This was an aquatic scent, obviously. And this has the notes of cool waters, bright daisy, make a splash. Um, Victoria's Secret doesn't give you very much to go on, but you know, just use your imagination. A beautiful, aquatic, perfumey, feminine scent. I love it. If you love a good aquatic scent, if you like a watery, semi-sweet, a little bit of floral, but watery scent, you'll like this. It's a beautiful, clean girl aesthetic type of scent. Definitely in my best body mist of 2023. And you guys, that is all for those body mist so now we are going to move into the perfumes now my perfumes that I'm going to be bringing to you guys are not perfumes that were released in 2023 truth be told I just started my journey of purchasing perfumes and getting my fragrance wardrobe together so I didn't focus on perfumes that I bought in 2023 and honestly the ones that I got that were released in 2023 were not my favorite so that's not what I'm bringing you guys today I'm bringing you what I used the most in 2023 and some that I even finished. So if that sounds like something you guys want to see, just stick around. First up, we have the Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Perfume. You guys, I actually went through a bottle of this already. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can, but I can. So I am about right here uh, with this perfume. I went through one of these already. I'm not going to get too deep into notes because I don't want to have y'all here all day. But this was just the most pretty scent. It's like a candied ginger, marshmallow, cashmere, vanilla, coconut type of scent. Like, it's really just like a hug and a bottle scent. It's super cozy, super inoffensive. And I just love this scent. It's super pretty. And it's affordable. You can get this at Walmart for like 30 bucks or less. So... I think this is one of the best perfumes this year that I have reached for in my collection. Next up, I have a freshie for you guys. Again, I use this more in the summertime, but I just want to bring it to you because I want to have some variety. I'm going to go with Moschino. I love love. You guys, I absolutely love this scent. This is a dupe for Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I actually like this better. I actually went through one of these. I think I went through the 1.7 and then I turned around and bought the 3.4 so that I would have it for next year. I love this scent. It is beautiful. Um, instead of that sharp, tart lemon that you get in the opening of Light Blue, on this one you get an opening of grapefruit and mandarin, I believe. And so it's a tad bit sweeter. It even has sugar in the notes in here. So I just love this. It's super, super pretty. 10 times better to me than light blue. I will say that the lasting power isn't the best, which it isn't the best on light blue either. So I mean, you get what you get when it comes to that. I really recommend this over light blue. And this is one of my best of 2023. Guys, we have Daisy Love, Ooh So Sweet. You guys, I am almost out of this. I am literally hanging on for dear life to this fragrance. You know, when I got it, I didn't know that I was going to love it the way that I do. But when I tell y'all, oh my God, it is so good. It is just a pretty, light, airy, raspberry and musk scent. That's really what I get. You get like an opening of bergamot in there as well. A sweet, pretty, feminine scent it is it's just pretty you can wear this in the summertime you can wear it in the spring and i think you can even wear it right now i wear it all year round and i will absolutely be repurchasing and this is how i knew that i absolutely need to put this in this video as one of the best scents i purchased and wore this year best of 2023 valentino donna born in roma the original and we already know that this is our vanilla and jasmine fragrance um jasmine sandbag your plum and your guyac wood in the base this is just a gorgeous feminine compliment getting scent i mean i think everybody knows that at this point 
So much so, this is a scent that I had. I didn't love it at first. I started to fall in love <laughs> and I got uber compliments when wearing it. I went through a 1.7 of this that is now gone and I went back and purchased this one for myself for Christmas. So I'm very happy to have it. That is why it is completely full. And I plan to keep this in my collection. I absolutely had to deem this one of the best of 2023 because it's one of the ones that I found myself reaching for and I emptied it. Guys, I have so, this Sol de Janeiro Soul Charosa 62 perfume. So you guys, I've been on the bandwagon of Charosa 62 since the beginning <laughs> but i just recently jumped on the bandwagon of getting the actual perfume the bottle is a stunner right the scent i love the boom boom cream and i was like you know why not jumped off the porch and bought the perfume and i'm happy with it i will say that the projection and the lasting power of the fragrance isn't the best you may be just better off sticking with the body mist but for me i had to get my hands on it to figure that out and i recommend anyone else does as well give it a try see how it performs on you but the scent is remarkable i mean i mean who doesn't know this this is like your almond pistachio heliotrope vanilla just a nutty pretty vanilla fragrance it's perfect for the summer there is no summertime without this fragrance i'm telling you you got to get your hands on this for the summertime and because of that for that reason best of 2023 you guys i had to put it in there next up you guys i have the fragrance this is a fragrance that i discovered on my own this is called guest bella vita rosa absolutely love this fragrance i got this from amazon this fragrance to me is just a very pretty sweet floral this is in the same vibe as dahlia and it kind of reminds me of carolina herrera's good girl um this is just a beautiful cheapy fragrance i think this fragrance has like currant moss it has some interesting notes in there um, but all in all i just love it it's so pretty it's underrated it's affordable you can get it from amazon i think for 40 dollars or less and it just happened to be a floral scent that i found and i really like i went through a body mist of it and a perfume so i thought it should be listed on this category of best of 2020 next up i have a dupe this is my dossiers ambery cherry this has the notes of cherry almond cinnamon cloves rose jasmine and plum peru balsam tonka bean and vanilla you guys, I've been talking about this all year long. This is my Tom Ford Lost Cherry Dupe. I swear by it. I am going to continue to repurchase. This has been amazing for me this fall and winter. And I just had to put at least one dupe in here. Um, just to let you guys know, you know, I have things for all price ranges, you know, <laughs> higher end to lower. And so this is one that I emptied and had to repurchase this year. So again, this is why it made the list of best of 2020. Next up, you guys, I have my all-time favorite fragrance to step out in, and that would be Good Girl <laughs> by Carolina Herrera. You guys, this is just gorgeous, beautiful, seductive, go out step outside fragrance you guys and i don't mean go out like go to the club y'all just stepping out you just stepping out as a grown woman i just think this is always perfect it's never going to do you wrong this is your cacao jasmine um tonka bean um oh my god there's so many things <laughs> in this fragrance i can't even begin to list them all out but you guys when i tell you I've put a nice little dent in here. I plan to go through this probably by the end of the season. By the end of winter, I'll be done with it and repurchased another one. You know, it's just sexy. It's sexy just like it looks like here because this has inspired so many purchases for me this year. There is no way I cannot give credit to the number Carolina. one. Carolina <laughs> you guys. The ultimate sexy woman fragrance best of 2020 right, y'all we're getting down to the nitty-gritty now i have one of my absolute favorites this here is a arabic fragrance this is ensemble gold by latafa pride you guys this is a fragrance that is inspired by oriana by parfums de marley you guys absolutely love this fragrance 
if you guys love Oriana, if you like something that has a bergamot opening, but also has like a marshmallowy kind of base, it gets creamy. If you like raspberries, you will like this scent. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I wore this the other day along with strawberry snowflakes with my body oil. I promise you, compliments galore. I'm telling you, uber feminine, uber cozy, sweet and sexy. You can't go wrong with this fragrance. You guys, if you like Oriana and you can't afford that ticket price, give it a try. Give it a try. And let me know how you feel. And last, I, but certainly not least, you guys, I had to mention these. And I absolutely had to put two in here because I can't choose between the two because I typically layer them together. I mention them in almost every video, but, you know, I need y'all to know just how I feel about them. YSL Libre Original, this is the EDP, and Le Parfum. Intense would be in here, but you guys only have it in like a travel size. And I mean, you can swap that out for this. If you have intense, then just place that here. But these are what I have. So this is what I'm showing you, you guys. Whichever one of these speaks to you. Both of these speak to me, so I like to layer them together. But I'm telling you, the YSL Libre line, to put this in here, as best of 2023. Because you guys, when I talk about show-stopping fragrances, when I talk about a fragrance getting compliments, a compliment getter anytime, anywhere it's these you guys there is no better combination of vanilla lavender ginger saffron honey you guys i'm telling you it is the most beautiful warm white floral fragrance it's a little unisex if you're going with this one but this one makes it a little bit sweeter and a little bit more approachable y'all this ain't for everybody, but if it is for you, like it's for me, best of 2023, hands down. You guys, that wraps up my perfume fragrances, best of 2023. Get into just so a few beauty products that I have that I recommend that I enjoyed this year. I have this Rihanna Balm in Fenty Glow. This is the original. You guys, I went through one of these this year and I already have repurchased it. I pretty much have probably about 10 Fenty Gloss Bombs of different colors, but I always end up coming back to the original. It is just the best to me. It's brownish, peachy nude, and I love it. Wear it down this year, and so definitely one of the best of 2023 makeup-wise. This Elf Power Grip Primer, y'all. I find myself going for this primer more than any of my other primers, and I even have high-end primers over there. This just gets the job done. It lays a perfect base for your other products to adhere to. It's affordable. I mean, what more can you ask for? It does what it needs to do. It does the job. So, the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, best of 2023. And last but certainly not least, I have to bring this YSL all hours foundation you guys i got put on to this by another youtuber i'm telling you ever since i got this in my life it's been all i wear now granted i don't have it on today and i'm really liking this that i got on today <laughs> but you guys this is a beautiful foundation it's demi matte i think but it is radiant so you don't look dry i don't like a matte foundation these days at this stage in the game but i also don't want to look like i'm dripping with sweat the look i have on today is pretty much the type of look that i go for and you guys this gives you that type of look i absolutely love this foundation i am in the color dn3 just for reference if you are my complexion but i highly recommend i have to put this in as best of 2023 hands down so next up you guys i want to show you guys some of the body care that i have and we're going to run first right things through first those. i have this cocoa coffee lotion i got this from victoria's secret you guys this was an amazing product that i got my hands on this year early in the year it seems that they have now discontinued this product i don't know why i never felt that it got the buzz that it deserved but i got my hands on it and i absolutely loved it i have one backup of it and when it's gone it's gone but this definitely deserves to be one of the best of 2023, in my opinion. Next up for lotions, I have this limited edition sweet cream whip shea butter by Tree Hut. 
you guys this was amazing i loved it only had this one did plan to get a backup hopefully it's still there when it comes time for me to actually buy it but i only have the one you know it just it smells so good it did a great job with moisturizing me i wasn't mad that it. it's not too thick it's not too light it's very fluffy and airy it has like this marshmallowy kind of scent Y'all, I just really enjoyed this. I'm sad that it's limited edition, but it definitely deserved to have that best of 2023 spotlight. Next up for moisturizers, I have to put in this EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. You guys, this took the internet by storm this year. And when I tell you ever since I got it, I'm never going back. Like there's never gonna be a time where this is not welcome in my collection. This is the best of 2023, the best of whenever. As long as they have this, it will be in my collection and, and it hands down deserves the best of 2023. Spotlight. Next up, I also have a couple of scrubs. This would be the Cocoa Coffee Scrub that goes along with the Cocoa Coffee Lotion. I also have this Eucalyptus and Spearmint Body Scrub that I get from Bath & Body Works. I use this a lot on self-care Sundays when I just want to have that wonderful stress relief type of feel and really zen and wind down and prepare for the work week. I absolutely love this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like oil content as well as that really coarse scrub. It really gets the job done and really helps to exfoliate the skin. So I highly recommend that. One. We're moving on. These two are two body washes from Bath & Body Works. Their wellness line that I absolutely fell in love with this year. This is the Stress Relief Body Wash Eucalyptus and Spearmint. I use that alongside that scrub as well as a recharge orange and ginger body wash and foam bath this is new to me but when i tell you this is my repurchase i've repurchased this several times throughout the year this smells so good i just absolutely love the citrusiness of it it is so good along with that ginger it's not too much i absolutely love these two these were the best of 2023 i had to add this in here and that is native sugar cookie body wash this is a sugar cookie body wash <laughs> it's literally just what it says you guys you already know native is a clean brand it's paraben free dye free sulfate free phthalate free and you guys they do gourmand body washes very very well oh it smells so good it smells just like a sugar cookie and ever since i've had it i've been ecstatic about it they also have a cherry and vanilla body wash that i will list up here i don't have it right now because i just ran out but i love that this year as well and i also have another that is the olay body wash in hyaluronic acid i'll put a picture up for my freshy lovers it's just a clean fresh like floral scent absolutely love that and those are my favorite body washes this year. you guys i have two hand soaps that i wanted to bring so this first one is this cherry almond shortbread oh my god y'all when i got my hands on this i knew i needed backups when i tell you this smells so good to me it smells like what it says it's literally cherry almond and shortbread vanilla shortbread candied almond and cherry it don't get no better it don't get no better if you see this, get this. Then the last one that I have is the White Barn Cookie Butter Truffle. And this has the notes of cookie butter, whipped cream, and vanilla extract. You guys, you talk about wanting to wash your hands like more than usual, just going in the bathroom for no reason, just so you can get a whiff. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. All right, you guys, so we are nearing the end of this video. So I only have a few more things to show you. And so if you guys are still tuned in with me, definitely make sure that you hit that like button if you have enjoyed this content so far. And so these last few things. If you don't know, I participated in Candle Day this year. And throughout the year, I had certain candles that really spoke to me. And these are the top five. I have Praline Delight. So this candle has the notes of roasted pecans, brown sugar, creamy caramel with natural essential oils. This really surprised me. This is just the most, whoo wee. This is the most deep brown sugared nutty candle. It is a very sweet, creamy and nutty candle. And I absolutely loved it. I was not expecting to love this the way that I did. I had to put this in my top 
candles of 2020. I have this white chocolate macadamia nut candle, which is also a sweet nutty candle. Literally smells just like white chocolate macadamia nut, like the ones that you would get from Subway. I love this candle. I have burned it down and I even have a backup. Notes were chewy cookie filled with crunchy macadamia nuts and white chocolate chips. Next up, I have the cinnamon caramel swirl, which has the notes of gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, and maple brown sugar. And that is what this looks like. And then, yeah, y'all, burnt it down as well. Love that. Smelled so, and so then good. Next up, I have this smoked caramel mezcal. I didn't see a lot of people talk about this candle, but I really, really enjoyed this. I got this around fall time. And I even saw some out for semi annual sale. This has the notes of generous pour of smoky mezcal, which I believe is a drink, um, caramel drizzle, cinnamon sugar rum. You guys. so 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 good love that love that and this is a backup i had two of these i already went through one this is the backup and then last but certainly not least this was my absolute favorite candle this year you guys this is the salted butterscotch candle and this is from the white barn collection this had the notes of brown sugar sweet cream and sea salt when i tell you this was the most underrated unexpectedly wonderful candle like when i tell you i did not expect to like this candle the way that i did y'all it turned out to be so so good y'all i cannot stress it enough if y'all see this candle out for semi-annual sale girl go get it <laughs> take it from me Go get this candle. If I found this candle, I would jump on it. I did not see this. I see a lot of the other ones that I mentioned, but I did not see this candle, y'all. And it must be because y'all knew it was good. So there were no extras left over. <laughs> Salted butterscotch. You guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I gave you guys something to chew on. I hope that you guys vibe with some of the things that I love this year. Leave yeah. me a comment down below. Let me know. What did you guys love this year? What was your favorite scent, your favorite body mist, your favorite candle of 2023? You guys, I'm so thankful to have you. And I appreciate you for staying to the end of this video. Until next time, be sure to see you guys in the next video. Take care and Happy New Year.